B-Marsh Boxing Live and Direct covering the women's lightweight division. We got um, from Italia, Rebecca Nicoli versus the Mexican lady. Uh, what's her name? Esmeralda Falcon Reyes, yes. And Esmeralda is uh, very aggressive. Both women are aggressive. You know, they came out like gangbusters in the first round. Oh, God damn. <laughs> They both caught each other. Nicole got caught with a couple body shots in the beginning. The Italian, Nicole. And she got hit with like four in a row right now. But the Mexican is more aggressive. I think the Italian chick one or just box. But, uh, oh, left hook by the Mexican Esmeralda. Missed one, two by the Italian, Rebecca. Oh, Rebecca gets caught with a right hook. Both a little tentative right now. Not much action going on. Nobody's landing or throwing punches. They're just staring and posturing at each other. Right, nothing. Okay, now they throw. I don't even know if anybody landed anything. You know, the women have... Oh, nice uppercut by Rebecca. You know, the women have the headgear. So it's a little hard to tell if, how, if they got hit flush, what impact it has. That was a tough round to score. They both had their moments. Oh, the body shot. Get oh, straight right hand by Rebecca. That was a beautiful. Pink, eat that. Oh, left. I might have to get that first round to the Italian. She had the more cleaner shots. The, the Mexican girl was aggressive, yes. This is round of 32. Women's lightweight division, 56 to 60, 57 to 60 kilograms. Uh, Rebecca, of the Italian, had the cleaner head shots. More eye catch. And if this was the pros, that's what the judges would score. But this is the amateurs. Got to consider that. Oh, she catches her again with the left. Huh? The Mexicans, right? Yes. A mad defense is terrible. Us. Uh, right out of the stomach by um, the Mexican chick. Esmeralda. Yes, like I said, from what I gathered from round one, the Italian girl wants to box. She doesn't want to engage so much in all that. She's looking to counter, looking for opportunities, making, uh, wants the Mexican girl to make some mistakes and make her pay. The Mexican girl wants to get on the inside and throw punches and bunches, but she's also weary right now of the counter punch that Rebecca is trying to set her up with, a Rebecca the Italian girl. Mm, nice left hand by the Mexican girl. She might have found a home for her left hand. Oh, she got caught with a right hook to the head. But she has the headgear, so the, I'm sure it braced a lot of impact. Here's round two, no clinching at all. It's more of a, a boxing match. Not so much an inside fight, more of a mid-range fight. You know, both of them posturing, parrying each other's jabs, you know, um, pawing at each other. A quick, quick burst of punches and then back to, you know, fighting from mid-range.
Mm. Yes, Moralda is actually being the aggressive, throwing more punches. 38 seconds left in the round. So far, I got her winning this round. Uh-huh. You see? Left hook to the liver by the Mexican girl, and then she followed with her right over the top. That's a nice combination setup. Esmeralda is now on the back foot. Doing a little lateral movement. You would think she'd be the aggressor. Right now you see the Italian girl trying to steal the round with the, trying to go hard in the last 10 seconds. But I give the round still to Esmeralda Falcon Reyes from Mexico. If you like the content, hit the thumbs up. Be Marsh Boxing live and direct. It is a working day. It is Tuesday already. And I'm here covering the women's lightweight division round of 32, live and direct. 57 to 60 kilograms. Round two got to go to the Mexican gal. Last and final round, round three. I got it one round apiece. Who's going to bring it home? Mm, they both throwing punches and bunches. I, I think the Mexican girl needs to step on the gas. Rebecca from Italia wants to box. The Mexican girl needs to get on the inside and needs to stay there. Not give her any breathing room. Ah, nice left hand by Esmeralda. Ah, she gets clipped with a left hook by the Italian Rebecca. Missed. Uh-huh. Mm. Oh, uppercut by Rebecca. Nice left hook to the body by Nicoli. Rebecca Nicoli. Referee stops the action. What's the problem? What? Mouthpiece? Headgear? Headgear's being adjusted from the Mexican girl. Rebecca. I'm sorry, Esmeralda. Back to action. Oh, nice defense by Rebecca. Nice bob and weave. Uh-huh. Rebecca's leading with the uppercut, which is a smart thing to do, followed by a left hand. Right uppercut, left hand. Just in case Esmeralda want to walk into something stupid. Because Esmeralda is coming face first, chin first. Like a matador from Mexico. Ouch! Right hook. Look, the, the girl's holding her hand. You see, the, the Italian girl was holding the Brazilian, I'm sorry, Mexican girl's hand. So she had only one free hand. Nice left hand. <laughs> She tried to go in when she was touching her headgear and missed. <laughs> oh! Straight right by Esmeralda. Nice check right hook. Esmer I'm sorry, um, the Italian girl is a southpaw. 18 seconds left, left hook. The fight's over, guys. I had the Mexican girl. I thought she'd win the fight, but I think the third and final round, I got to give it to the Italian girl. 
I thought she had the cleanup punches and definitely defense. While the Mexican girl's defense was non-existent. I got to give it up to Rebecca. She had one nice move off the pivot. Bobbed and weave, Ducked under a big left hook. This is the Olympics. Go hard or go home. Left hook to the head. Looking at the replay. See the check right hook. One thing I do like about these amateur boxers. I see they work on the right. They check right hooks and check left hooks. You know, that's a professional punch. Made famous by guys like Floyd Mayweather. Split decision. Rebecca. Rebecca, the Italian girl, wins the fight, just like I thought. I didn't think she'd win the fight coming in, but I had her winning on my scorecard. So congratulations to Rebecca Nicola winning this round of 32 in uh, the lightweight division. Be Marsh Boxing, I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm gone. Peace. Yeah, they go home. They ain't got nothing else to do.